Hello, my name is Ben Nell, and I will be presenting our paper published in IEEE Transactions on Antennas and Propagation, titled Q-Factor Bounds for Microstrip Patch Antennas. This work is done in collaboration with Anja Skruvik and Mats Gustafsson. So before I start, let's quickly recap what a microstrip patch antenna is. So you have a patch on top of a dielectric substrate with relative permittivity and thickness. The patch can be, for instance, fed with a probe feed coming from the ground plane. One limitation of these antennas is that they are generally narrow band, and a good way of approximating the bandwidth is to determine Q factor, which is inversely proportional to fractional bandwidth. Therefore, the goal of this paper is to determine tight, lower Q factor bounds for microstrip patch antennas within a given design region, and we choose this design region to be a rectangular design region, and then using current optimization, we determine the lower Q factor bounds within this design region. And here are some classical patch geometries that can fit within this design region. So for this example, we consider this constraint on the patch design region with this dielectric thickness. And then we're gonna represent the bounds with respect to the patch design region dimension normalized by the free space wavelength. So let's first take a look at the shoe limit which considers a spherical design region. And what we see when we compare this to our bounds with having a relative permittivity of one for the substrate, there's orders of magnitude difference. And further, we can see that the half wavelength resonant patches for both polarizations are effectively on the bounds. And when we look then at some miniaturized patch geometries, we see that they are also effectively on top of the bounds. And now when we take a look at the bounds for relative permittivity of two, we again see that these geometries are on top of the bounds. And here it should be noted that of course, the resonances shift with respect to the wavelength inside the substrate. And when we take a, a look at the relative permittivity of four for the substrate, we again see the same. And here we should note again that for all of these cases, the bounds are orders of magnitude tighter than the shoe limit. So to summarize, we've been able to show new lower Q factor bounds based on current optimization. Classical patch geometries are shown to be on top of the bounds. The bounds are orders of magnitude tighter than the shoe limit. Further, if you look in the paper, you will find a simple method that we propose for approximating the bounds using commercial solvers. And we also add polarization constraints to the bounds. And with that, I thank you for listening and I hope you find the time to read the paper.